Hello everyone, in this video, I am going to tell you some good points about the new Maruti Suzuki Swift. So, let's get started. Airbags and AVS are now standard across all models. You also get the rear LED lights from the base model. Sound deadening material is placed on the bonnet of the car and it helps stop engine noise entering the cabin. You can split rear seat in the ratio of 60 by 40. The size of the boot has also increased and now it is of 268 liters. There is a huge change in the interiors of the car they make it look like a premium hatchback. You can see that dials are placed instead of buttons. Plastic quality is also good. Steering wheel is a bit sporty and speedometer gives a fresh look. The 7 inch touchscreen is tilted towards the driver and it makes it easy for the driver to operate the screen while driving. Weight management is also done and this car is much lighter than before. The petrol variants weighs around 860 kg and the diesel variant weighs 970 kilograms. Now there is a direct benefit due to weight reduction as car can now reach 0 to 100 in less time than before and even the average has increased and company claims that petrol variant gives an average of 22 km per liter and the diesel variant gives an average of 28 km per liter. Some of the features which you get in the top variant that is Z plus variant are projector lamps with LED DRLs 7 inch touchscreen with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, parking sensors and parking camera is there to assist you while parking, you also get automatic climate control and push button start and dual tone alloys add to the beauty of the car. There is a slight increase in the dimensions of the car, width is increased by 40mm, wheelbase by 20mm, headroom by 24mm but even after the increase in dimensions it is not comfortable for the accommodation of 3 adults and my height is 510 and driver seat is set according to my height and I find headroom to be more than perfect. But legroom is just okay. Lower back support was good and under thigh support could have been better. You get steering mounted controls from V variant. If you are planning to buy an automatic transmission car then you have the option to buy the new Swift in automatic transmission. Price of automatic Swift starts from and the petrol manual variant starts from 4.99 lakhs and the diesel manual variant starts from 5.99 lakhs. If you are planning to buy this car, it's a really good choice but as I always say, everything has some demerits. So in the next video, I will upload some drawbacks of the new Swift. So please subscribe to our channel and never miss any update from the Motorholic Show. Thank you.